Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Batter Spalls at Addendum 34.5. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Hello! As ever, playing Yugi. She. <laughs> Who's using my script again? Um, 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 um. We rejoin Yuki not too long, pretty much on that last day of the last session, where she's just settling into Okusan's cage. It's not looking so bad as previous times in Okusan's little room. Seems like he, 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 he's away for a while and people have a chance to clean up. The place is still covered with newspaper, but uh, people have a chance to clean up and this. A little better that Yuki should know all about being a fox. So, uh, what is Yuki up to at the moment? Well, mainly she's just been kind of coming in here on a regular basis, just kind of sitting and hoping that, like, oh, he's just gonna pop by any minute now. I think she's getting a little better about load. Leaving, but Okasan, it's starting to get to where they're like, it's been so long, and he's not been around whatsoever. She's starting to get worried. Just turning you down a little, little because you peeking into the red. Whoops. Ah, that's my settings. So you're on your four, just sitting in his cave, probably swaying a bit. Because, hey, why not? Mm. We cave, if we swing, who can resist? Yep. <laughs> it's not long before you realise you're not alone. There, leaning against the wall, clad in in a garb of a bygone era of with feathered pauldrons clad in green, green tunic, sharp features with long wild red hair, piercing eyes and curved back goat horns dawning his head. There is red. Oh. Hello there. Uh, hello. I felt the last time we met, you wanted to have a word. But, uh, was denied. A little bit. <laughs> Alas, it was busy that day, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot of chaos. Delightful chaos. Oh, right, you enjoy that stuff, and I forgot. Admittedly, it's for interested parties. For quite a few of them, they were set back. It's for me, is the more interesting thing. I'd imagine. So, my dear, what is it you wish to have a word about? Word about? I was just thinking, you you managed to help Magpie remember part of her memories. How'd you do it? I stumbled across her memories on the market. They're just going around. They were a source of immune with this young green whippersnapper. Snapper's memories of a gloom stalker going around. Thinking she knew what she thought she knew. I thought she could deal with a wake up call. So I merely met sure I was the next one to acquire those memories. Get them sent back. Then your 
chance to do that. You also helped me get some of mine back. Do you have some of mine as well? As far as I know, your memories never, never were taken. What do you mean? My dear, there is a hole in your mind. Uh -oh. Before a certain night, Yuki Kalfa did not exist. Well, that I know. Obviously, you know my real name. I chose the name to go into hiding, but... She said there's still pieces missing. I'm not sure if you knew how to get those back. I am guessing since you are starting to remember aspects of your former life, it's a matter of time before they resurface on their own. Mm. Naturally, or not. Maybe it doesn't need the right triggers to awaken them again. Seems to be the case with the last two incidents. I just would rather not end up in a coma again. I know. Your life is becoming like one of those ta tacky not... Tacky penny penny awfuls. Filled with drama, bad drama, bouts of coma. Oh god, how how did that one person manage to write an entire story where everyone came down with a coma and memory loss all at the same time? I mean, given our group, it's apparently more common than you think. Uh, that's an hour of my life I want back. But no, even though I can't do that. <laughs> Still, we travel down the path that sometimes we choose, sometimes. Influence outside our control, send us down. Some of your number definitely are choosing to take fate in their own hands. Some, like a particular white bird, seem to ride the rivers of fate, jumping from log to log, not even sure where they're going to go. Do you know where Okasan is? Should be told I lost him about three locations ago. Well, fun. All I can say is he has spent a bit of time in the Shadow Realm. I don't know how he got on a boat traveling down the river, but he was lucky not to fall in. Else he will be missing memories as well. Does he even have memories to lose? Even I don't know that. That's fair. Does he, does he really live like this? Usually it's a lot messier. He, he tears a page from the wall. And, well, you recognize a symbol on it. It 
it is one of the symbols that appeared on one of the in from the book he Ogisan has read has been to, transforming into things. Mm-hmm. You know, when I arranged for that book to be sent to him, I thought that book would get a hell of a lot more use. I'm surprised it'd been so that bird was so restrained with its use. Do you know what I've seen him do? I shouldn't be that surprised. True, very true. He's an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wearing a a wrestling mask sometimes. Yeah, I figured you'd know that. Most people don't. Yeah, that is also a curious one. So, do you happen to have any more questions I can assist you with at the moment? What's my name? Look down. And she looks down. Those missing girl posters, the one you were taking a bit of offence to that you kept ripping down from the notice board. The one that you felt just stared back at you. He's staring back at you right now. And the name printed in black ink, though slightly smudged because of where it is. It's there back it stares back at you as well. Her eyes get wide as saucer so she picks that up. Sharp pain enters her head briefly. Flashbacks of a younger Cyrano handing her a white rose, and the name pops into that or into his words, and it all comes rushing back. This is me? A long time ago. But how? My my papa died years ago. And Yuki Kalfa came to be years ago. Then who's sending out these posters? Who's looking for me? Someone you may not want finding you again. Someone who, if they find you again, Put you to need a work. Do you know what the, the name of the Kobo means? No. To be born a Dukobo is to be born a crow to the families. Expandable, usable. And for the most part, only as useful as the last job they did. 
the family's looking for me? Why? My father was human. Yeah, that is the thing. When did the Kobos uh, bred? It's usually the mothers that are the mortal. You are very, very crazy. So my even remark, you're a miracle. Conscious for what's room you sprang. But but Papa told me Mama died in childbirth. Mama may have not been mortal to begin with. <laughs> She's definitely starting to look a little faint on this. Do you know what Suno actually is? Yes. Can you tell me the name? She struggles to say it. A vampire. A vampire, if he will. Not quite mortal, not quite immortal. Well, as much as they can, the living dead can be called immortal. Not the best of both worlds, but enough to get by. Like I said, to the Corbo are useful as long as they can get the jobs done. And what about my, what about the Ladaris? Mama Ladaris, Ladaris. Oh, she's so unimportant. And, well, as she found you again, so how much of a store you, and let's put it this way, the family, well rather she is seeking ways to restore you because she does believe that those foxes stole you away in numerous ways rather than turn, turn you over to the other family. But my guess is you'll be groomed for a role you may not be happy with. You won't be the, the Cobo, that's for certain. Because typically, typically their parents, well, at least not the mortal parents, don't love them. Like I said, they're useful, they're expendable. But for a vampire to be the one to give birth, To fall in love with that child like a mortal. That's... That's rare, if not near next to it, impossible.
Does Cyrano know about all of this? I think that is something you need to talk to him about. I think I'm going to do just that. And she just kind of storms out, not even looking at him, holding the paper. So, uh, do we want to leave the this little coin in like that? And we can open the next session with that, with uh, that encounter. <laughs> Which sounds good to me. Okay. I saw saw but uh possibly deep little little uh, encounter here. Mm -hmm. So until next time, be good, be well. And something something thought provoking ending. Later folks. Bye bye. -in. <laughs>